Oh hi there, this is a little weird. Uh, I'm wearing gloves, because i just done a video on my job lot of faulty devices, which I'm not too sure if it's going to get uploaded or not, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but because I don't know where they really come from and stuff like that, I got the gloves. So I've just kept them on because I got another device, which you all might remember, because it was only a couple days ago. My good friend works in the e-waste industry, and uh, he's seen my video and said, uh, look what came in. And I went, oh damn, not this again. You caused me nothing but grief, but the glass is like 10 inches thick on this thing. There's no screen protector on this one. It is just straight bare bones. I don't know how these cracks could have happened, uh, but they're pretty deep, man. Holy moly. But obviously, uh, there's problems with it. So we can just take the back cover off like so. And there's no battery in here. Which is good, because when I was doing the teardown of the original video, I couldn't really tear it down because the battery was connected. This doesn't have a battery, so I don't care. The back gold looks quite nice, but it's exactly the same. All, uh, machined plastic. But, you know what, I actually might put the gold on the blue, just for, just for the lols, I guess. But there's also something else that this has going for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I'll help you then. There we go. The panel is just uh, just hanging there, so we can have a look at the panel as well. So we can do a full teardown. Yay! Um, I also might keep the subboard just in case. Uh, why would I need to keep the sub? I don't know, actually. I really don't know. But anyways, uh, let's take out the screws and take this thing apart. Or alternatively, what I could do... Boop. 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 Done. <laughs> that was easy. So there's the panel. This is the weight. Right here, that is nothing, but this itself, oof, I mean, oh, okay, fair enough, that's, uh, that is what happened. In the name of science, uh, well, oh, the flex ribbon's, um, stuffed on that one as well, code's just there, 2018, and this you can actually buy replacement parts for on AliExpress, which is pretty interesting, um, but since the flex ribbon's damaged and it's all damaged, um, and just we can literally rip and tear that's fun we can do something but yeah that, that, that's stuffed obviously let me get some paper towel ready because this is going to be fun i'll look away while i do this uh, actually wait 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 not brutal yet it's getting brutal let's just have a look and see how an lcd works because why not um there you go hey a free mirror cool who's looking pretty so yeah, there's multiple layers of an LCD. Uh, if you want to learn the technologies, there's a lot of videos out there that tell you how it works and stuff, but it's just several layers. Oh, I know, for you people out there, this is probably gonna hurt. We're destroying technology, but it's a clone, it doesn't matter. It's all good. There's another layer there. Cool noise. Then we got another layer, which I think this is the backlight, which we've just pulled off. And then, oh, we have another couple of layers here. Yeah, I'm not too sure how this works. I think this is a polarizer. Amazing what goes into a screen. And now the AMOLED panel's just panel. <laughs> this is this is so much going on here. There we go. This is very uh, barbaric, but that's okay. Uh, anyways. Pulling our AMOLED panel off. <laughs> AMOLED panel. Okay. And ripping the flex cable off. Reveals that is our display. Uh, the lovely AMOLED panel. <laughs> That's our now Galaxy Ted. You know, cracking these is fun. Good stress relief, honestly. You can just sit there and just crack it all and it feels good. And then the glass itself. That's how thick the glass is. It doesn't look like much, but let me just sort of do this. Now, if you look at other Samsung devices, for example, the glass is very thin. This is what I call protection. I mean, holy hell. Someone's literally hit this with a hammer. Let's see if I can pull a chunk off it. 
see? The reason why I needed gloves. I'm testing out these gloves as well because they're anti-puncture ones. That's what it says anyways, that they, uh, they don't puncture. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right, here it is, folks. This is the glass that's on the S9 clone. It is thick. It is thick. You can see the slight curvature to the glass just there, ever so slightly, but it's thick as. Look at that. That's the layer of glass on this thing. That is impressive. Holy moly. What can I even compare it to? So the thickness of this glass is two SD cards stacked together. That's the thickness of the glass on this damn thing. That's more protection than pfft, so many other devices. Holy moly. I mean, it was easy to crack because there was obviously the cracks already in it. As I said, someone must have hit this with a hammer or something to cause that to happen. Wow. That was experiment number one. That is just uh, amazing. This is like Ion Fury strengthened Gorilla Glass 27 or something like that, man. That's that's just insane. All right. Well, I'll just wrap my little paper towel up. Bye-bye, little friend. We will miss you. Send him off in a little coffin to the rubbish bin. So what we are now left with is a carcass, to put it nicely. <laughs> So what I was trying to say in the S9 Plus video is we've got a plastic outer frame and then inside is this metal frame, which... It can bend, it can. But the structural integrity is there. Combined with the glass that's on this thing, it's pretty good. Also, there's a sticker on this one. MD, McDonald's. I don't know, it was just a guess, really. Um, so now what I can do, I've got glass shards everywhere. See, this S9 Plus is cursed. Glass shards with the previous one, glass shards with this one. Blah. Maybe I should burn it so that I'll never have to deal with it ever again. I don't have to be super careful because, uh, well, I don't have to be super careful. So I can now grab out the subboard. There we go. Take the subboard out, uh, take the microphone out, everything's pretty much loose. This probably looks so brutal to everyone, but trust me, it's just a clone, don't worry, it's all good. I just broke the vibration motor on this, that's okay, because it was pretty adhered, but um, the coin style vibration motor has several interesting parts to it. it. has two like coils on it sort of thing, and there's a little PCB just in there. It's pretty interesting. I thought it was just a... Uh, actually, I don't know what I expected, to be honest. Something to do with that part there that causes it to vibrate. Oh, actually, there's a little um, post that this goes on, and then that spins around, obviously, to make it vibrate. That's my guess, anyways. Uh, but the subboard probably won't be any good now. Uh, let's go ahead and take the top of it off and have a look at this board properly, just to confirm the specifications that I said in the video are true. So I don't want to have a video where the specs aren't true. I mean, even though we basically confirmed it during the um, spec testing and all that sort of stuff, I just want to make sure. And I didn't want to kill the one that I paid $120 Australian for. This one, my mate's just like, yep, I got one in e-waste. Well, how ironic is that, that you get one in e-waste? And I got mine from some sort of um, cash converter store or something like that. Very strange, but okay, um, all right brutally rip and tear this board out. Okay, we've got to take this little piece just here. This is the fingerprint scanner. Quotes, fingerprint scanner. Comes up like that. Someone mentioned in the comments that this is likely a capacitive button and that is all it is, which could be very true. So in that case, why don't we just pry off this then? See what's going on. I believe one of you was right. That said it's a capacitive button because it says right there. Touch. It says S3059L Touch FPC. Fingerprint something. But I don't know if it's actually a fingerprint scanner or if it's just a capacitive button. I would say whoever said it's a capacitive button is correct. That makes more sense. Um, but yeah, 
there it is there. It's just a little flex ribbon that goes straight under there and that's it. But it's a great fingerprint scanner because you can unlock it with your elbow, with your wrist, with your face, with uh, never mind. Um, Alright, so now we're at the motherboard itself. Which, as you've seen, I could only take it out so far in the previous video. But now, I can take the whole thing out. And who cares? Obviously, I won't be able to test this one because I'd have to solder the battery wires and I really can't solder battery stuff, to be honest. I can solder big things, if that helps. What we can do is break the plastic and take the button out and I can now use my little tool here to pry out the buttons. Do I really need to do this or just rip the thing out? Done. I think I may have stuffed up one of them. I think I ripped it. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. There it is. There's the motherboard. There's the camera, which is exactly the same. Doesn't have OIS, of course. Um, now the front camera. Now in my previous video, I could not tell what the front camera was because there's codes on it. Uh, I might be able to tell what the codes are now. Before I take the front camera off though, here it is. This is the back of the motherboard. And this is what you didn't get to see in the video. So we have the front sensor array just here. There's our fake iris scanner. Just that piece there, because why not? And that's what is soldered onto the side of it. And then just here is our components. It appears that the internal code name for this is S305. Could be just a generic one, but that's what it says everywhere. So what we do is find a little gap in between everything and just stick our tool in and just bop it right off or something like that. As a person who really, you know, enjoys technology and stuff, doing this is actually quite sad. But then again, it is a clone, so it's fine. The guts. The MediaTek MT6580A with a Kingston module on here. Hmm. I see a couple of eights on there. I don't know if you guys can read any of that. There you go. You might be able to read what's going on, but I'll take a photo of it and Google the code and see what it comes up with. I'll splice a little note in here during editing to tell you what that module is, but I'm pretty sure, confirmed, it's an 8 gig module. Otherwise, we'll rip the other bit of shielding off. Yeah, this, this board is a... Uh, is cactus now. So much for wanting to keep it. That's okay, it doesn't matter. I knew I had to destroy it in order to look at what's going on here. You're supposed to desolder this sort of stuff, but uh, nah, just use screwdrivers, man. It's all good. Uh, that happened. Yeah, uh, that also happened. Because I can't get this off. <laughs> all this to see a couple little chips. That's it. What's that there? An 842N TGM. I'll take a picture of that as well, but otherwise that's probably just the power I see, most likely anyways. But uh, safe to say that I've ruined my S9 clone, but it was in the name of science. So I wanted to see what was going on here. And I forgot one more thing. This itself is actually pretty heavy, but not that solid. Oh, okay. Um... Sure, why not? Yeah, so it's a plastic frame adhered to a metal body, somewhat. The front camera, let's see if I can rip this off and have a look and see what the uh, codes are. There we go. I got codes. I'll take a photo of that and I'll uh, let you know during editing what that comes up with. Shall we compile our parts together? There we go. That's uh, what was once a somewhat working device is now no longer a working device. I found the iris scanner. There it is. Just there. Yeah, Little cute thing. Also I punctured my glove. I could be bleeding. I don't know. Can't feel it. But I'll have to take these off because these are full of glass now. I really didn't think I'd get another one to tear down and because that one was already broken I didn't want to buy another display for it. I've already done the review and stuff. It's caused me enough grief. I thought why not give it back to it? Why not give the device itself grief? So I've torn you to bits. I actually might keep the camera off the main unit because what if I come across another device and this camera fits in there, maybe. I'll have to see if it's the same as the one on, I think it is, let me check. Yeah, it's the exact same camera, which you guys said was a eight megapixel one, I guess a five. So I guess we're pretty close on that one. But uh, otherwise, that's it. Device is torn down. That finishes the S9 Plus. 
slash S9 clone video series thing. You got three videos out of it. <laughs> the bonus one was just the outtakes, and now this is the actual teardown. I've also got my several new pieces of paper. I'll just uh, do that. There we go. I've got that piece. I've got that piece. And I've got that piece. And I've got that piece. And I've got that piece. Still looking pretty. So, uh, that's it. All good. They're the parts I'll keep. <laughs> the rest is just going to go in the bin. Thank you very much for watching this stupid video of a barbaric teardown. There might be a bunch of dislikes because people might be like, Oh, that's just boo oh, You can't do that. Oh, my God. Uh, but that's okay. It's my device. I can do what I want with it. And I have the other one still working. See? My working one. Let me just get the gold back cover. And we just go... Boop. S'mores custom clone... Thing. I don't know, that blue and gold colour scheme is uh, pretty sick. Alright, anyways, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. And I hope you got a laugh out of this one because it was quite fun to do. Uh, especially seeing that glass, I think it was. My god. Let me know down in the comments if uh, that's usual or not because I don't think that's usual. Out of all the devices I've ever repaired, I've never seen glass that thick. But holy god. Take care everyone. Be good people. Stay safe. And um, let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video, which will be something cool. Hopefully. You'll see. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.